Thousands of Alabama A&M students hit the campus today for their first day of school. While many of them are headed back to the dorm tonight after a long day of classes, others not so lucky. WFO 48's Claudia Pemidorus joins us live outside A&M's campus. Claudia, you spoke to several people today who say they're having a really difficult time finding a place to live this semester. Well, as leaders with the university say, they just welcomed in their largest freshman class ever, over 2,000 students. Now, students are saying this university milestone is the exact reason they weren't able to live on campus this semester. It's very frustrating. At Alabama A&M, many students are still figuring out where they're going to live as classes begin. Many say they were informed early this summer the residency halls are at capacity and they would be put on a wait list. Just days before the first day of class, many still did not know where they would live for the start of school. I found out we could go that I would be living off campus instead of on campus, and I was a little worried because I didn't really have transportation. This student, who asked to remain anonymous, says a week before class started, she was told by the university leaders she could move to an off-campus apartment complex that contracts with the university. Now she has a place to live, but she's faced with a new problem, the price. I didn't pick it, but I am paying more than I was on campus. The student says she's paying at least $2,000 more to live at the apartment complex per semester. And without a car, she's relying on university buses to make sure she gets to class on time. Another student who asked to remain anonymous says she's in a similar situation and was offered an apartment instead of a dorm room two weeks ago. We always had housing issues to begin with. My thing is, if y'all knew that y'all wanted to accept these many freshmen, but I want y'all to renovate, buildings that's on campus that haven't been touched. One mom who asked to remain nameless says her son was waitlisted for a dorm over the summer and learned just last week he will not be able to stay on campus. Now he's living in a hotel room for the first week of school. That was the largest class that they ever had. Like I told them, I don't care to hear that when you displace my student that's a second year student. It's like if these kids nowadays and want to go to school, you should make a pathway to make it happen. Now, early this morning, I reached out to university administration about this story, and they told me I could interview students on campus. But once I arrived on campus, I was told I'm not allowed to ask any of the, qu the students about housing questions. Now, administration says they're not doing interviews about this topic at this time and referred me to their website for housing questions. Reporting live in Huntsville, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48, on your side.